a smartwatch with a super large 2 inch display, Bluetooth calling, 120 plus sports modes, IP67 rating, and more for just 1499. Loot low. <laughs> yes, Firebolt has absolutely killed it with the newly launched Hunter. One of my other favorite features is that you can share your social media QR codes directly from your smartwatch, which I think is so cool. I'm super excited. So without further ado, is shikari ka shikar karte hain. I mean, let's unbox the Hunter and have a closer look so you can decide if you should buy the smartwatch or not. Let's begin. So here is the retail packaging of the Firebolt Hunter. The image of the watch, Bluetooth calling, some features mentioned here, some features mentioned here. Towards the back, some manufacturing details, QR code for the companion app, and it comes with an MRP of $14,999. But don't worry, you can get this for just $1,499. Amazing. So let's quickly open it up. Right on the top is the watch itself, lots of coupon codes, book my show, Ghana, some more, user manual, and finally the pogo pin charging cable that magnetically aligns and attaches to the watch charging terminals. By the way, the magnets are also pretty strong. If you pull it, it doesn't come off easily. All right, let's have a closer look at the watch and first thing we'll get rid of the screen protector and that's a nice square dial and the first thing to notice is what a slim smartwatch that is. Clearly doesn't look like a budget smartwatch. The frame is made of metal, yes that's a metal frame with a matte black finish so it doesn't attract any fingerprint or smudges. On this side you can spot there's a single button, right on the top if you look carefully you'll also see the mic hole which is going to assist you for phone calls and voice assistant. Really nice soft quality silicon straps. Buckle design with the Firebolt branding on it, very well built. Moving towards the back, the back has the heart rate sensor, aspirator sensor and the charging terminals up here. Make sure you remove this protective film here so that the sensors give you more accurate reading. If you look closely, you can also spot the speaker here which is going to assist you for phone calls and voice assistant. These are 22mm bands that can be replaced with any third party bands. Simply pull this hook mechanism, there you go, to release. Very very convenient. Overall, the build quality and design of this watch is pretty good considering the price. Who will give you a metal frame in $14.99? Too good. The Firebolt Hunter comes with an IP67 rating, so it's dust and water resistant. You can wear it at the gym during your workout, wear it in the rain. In fact, you can even wear it in the pool since the watch comes with swim tracking on board. Alright, let's have a closer look at the display. Now, as you press this button on the side, you can see it's a huge 2.01 inch LCD display with a resolution of 240 by 296 pixels. I have to say, this is a really huge display and it's perfect for parents and grandparents who have bad eyesight and they can see the time really clearly on this big screen. It's amazing. Color reproduction is also pretty decent, though it's an LCD display, blacks are also pretty good. And even though it's not a very high resolution display, you can see that the text is very, very clearly visible. Also, if you go to the home page here, you can see that it's quite clear. Now, I know a lot of people want to know about the bezel, so let's quickly change the watch face. And there are some that come pre-installed, as you can see. Wow, this is just perfect for those who have poor eyesight. Time is so clearly visible. And there you go. Wow, this will give you a good idea of the bezels. Now, I won't say that the bezels are not there, but yes, the bezels are quite slim comparatively. And the best part is it's almost equal on all the four sides, which makes it a very seamless look. I really like that Firebolt is getting the bezels slimmer and slimmer on their watches and that too on such budget smartwatches. Now, we don't have the exact nits of peak brightness, but we still wore the watch outdoors. And here too, you can see it's very clearly visible. You can surely see the display even outdoors during the day. All right, quick look at the interface. If you swipe right, you have the activity, then you have sleep tracking, you have the heart rate, SPO2, the weather, you have phone calling, then you have your exercise and you have plus. Plus is basically you can keep adding more components like camera shutter, music, alarms, timer, calculator, whatever you like, you can add or remove very convenient. Press this button to go back to the home page. Swipe from down to access your missed call alerts and notifications. Swipe from up, you can access the quick toggles. You have do not disturb, battery saving mode, QR code for the companion app. Then you can adjust the brightness from here. Then of course, this is the settings and this is the e-card app. So basically, you can share the QR code of your social media accounts like Instagram, Twitter, or even WhatsApp directly from your smartwatch. Imagine how convenient this can be. But how do you add this? Well, first you need to download the QR code like we've just downloaded mine from Instagram. Now go to the e-card option on the Dafit app. Here, click add, choose the QR code from the gallery and name it whatever you like. So I'm typing Instagram. Also, let's add Twitter. Go to the gallery, add the QR code. 
type the name and done. Now on my watch, in the e-card option, I have two QR codes, Instagram and Twitter. Similarly, you can save and share the link of your website, all your social media handles, WhatsApp contact, anything you want directly from your smartwatch. Swipe right to access the quick gadgets, you have settings, weather, workouts, and if you press this button, you can access the menu. You have activity, phone calling, heart rate, sleep tracking, SpO2, exercise, exercise records, weather, messages, shutter, player, relaxation app, timer, AI voice assistant, alarms let's check alarms yes the best part is you can set alarms directly from the smartwatch i find this feature very convenient then for the find phone then you have some games you have floppy bird you have hamster you have battleship i know a lot of people like to play games when they're free on their phone it's quite fun but remember playing games on the watch will drain the battery a lot quicker then further down is the calculator and settings. In settings, you have display settings. You can adjust the brightness, watch faces, menu style. And there are so many from list view, grid view, parallel, surface, crescent, full moon, helm, honeycomb, and list. I somehow prefer the list view. It's the most convenient. Then you have vibrate and ringtone where you can adjust the ringtone. You can change the vibration intensity. Then you have do not disturb, low power mode, phone calling can be turned on and off. So for example, you're in a meeting, you can turn this off, Bluetooth audio, phone reset, system and about. So overall, I can say that the interface is also really smooth, very, very well optimized, as you can see, very snappy, easy to use. And the text is really bold, which means everyone can see it very, very clearly. So let's come to phone calling. So to make phone calls from your watch, swipe right to the widgets, go to the phone calling app, you have recent call, dial pad and contacts. We're going to dial pad and randomly dialing a number. There you can see the phone call is being made. So the audio hearing is from the speaker on the watch. It's quite clear and very loud. What do you think? So you, of course, you can mute the microphone during a call. You can send this call to the phone. You can control the volume and end the call directly from the watch itself. And similarly, you can also answer incoming calls on the smartwatch. First thing, you'll see the vibration and the ringtone. Then you can see the caller's name. You can control the volume. You can reject the call and answer the call and talk directly using your smartwatch. Similarly, you can mute the microphone on the watch. You can send this call to your phone and you can even control the volume of the speaker and end the call from here. Coming to the call quality. Well, firstly, the speakers get loud enough to be used indoors and in most cases, outdoors as well, unless you're in a very noisy environment. The other person didn't complain of any echo or disturbance. Probably he didn't even know I was using my smartwatch to talk to him. So I'd say the mics on the watch do a pretty good job. Also, I'd like to take a minute and talk about the fit and comfort. The watch is overall really light. And even on thin wrists like mine, you would think that the dial would look too big, but it looks just perfect. Also must add, the silicon straps provide a very comfortable and grippy fit. Coming to health monitoring. So we swipe right on the home page to start the heart rate. There you go. We got the readings. Then move to SpO2. There you go. Always remember, these are just smartwatches. So use these health parameter readings just for your reference and not for any medical purposes. Hunter also has a relaxation app where there's a breathing exercise if you're stressed. You can set the time and another breathing exercise to fall asleep. I think this feature can be really helpful. Coming to fitness and workouts, the watch comes with over 120 plus workout modes. To access it, go to the menu, scroll down to exercise, here you'll find walking, running, cycling, badminton, basketball, football, there's also swimming on board, climbing, tennis, rugby, golf, dancing, elliptical, indoor cycling and come to the plus sign below. Then the popular sports, water sports, check out the list of water sports, water skiing, kayaking, rafting, rowing, diving, snorkeling, everything that you want is here. Then you have outdoor activities, training, dance workouts, combat sports, ball sports, winter sports, recreational sports and other sports. Anything that you can think of is available. Now here on the home page, you can also choose goals instead of just starting a workout. Like if you click on open goals, you can set as per your time, as per the calories you burn, as per the distance or just open goal. Like if you choose time, you can choose just a 20 minute workout and you can click start. Here you can see the time of your workout. You can see the steps taken, calories burned, heart rate, total distance, pace and intensity of workout. If you want to turn off your workout, press the button on the side, pause or stop. Coming to the battery. 
So Firebolt hasn't shared the exact size of the battery, but we expect it to last for about four to five days with typical use. If you're using Bluetooth calling, max of one to two days. Let's have a quick look at the Dafit Companion app. So right here on the home page, you can see all your workout and health related data. You have the step tracking, your sleep tracking, your heart rate, continuous heart rate, blood oxygen levels, GPS workouts, then exercise records. In the second option, if you go on the top, you can see the battery percentage, the pairing. Here you can see some of the watch faces that come pre-installed. Just click on them and they will start changing instantly. There you go. Very, very convenient. If you come towards the end, you have the face gallery. Then here you have an option to download so many watch faces. Check that out. Analog, digital, that's really, really fun to choose. Let's quickly change one, click download. And there you go, watch face has been saved. And this will also give you an idea of the bezels. Looks so cool, doesn't it? All right, coming back, if you go towards the left, you can edit and change watch faces from the phone gallery. As well, you can choose an image from the phone gallery. Very, very convenient. Then further down, you have notifications. You can choose from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't. Set alarm times, shutter. Then you have the e-card option that I just showed you, favorite contacts. In others, you can change the time format, unit system, quick view, drink water reminder, heart rate warning, weather, psychological cycle tracking. This is menstrual cycle tracking for women. If you come back here, come to the last option, you can also share your data with Google Fit, which is really, really helpful. In case you change your device, your data is saved, always accessible to you. Overall, the DaFit app is really well optimized, super easy to use. All right, final thoughts. So as I said in the beginning, loot low. For $14.99, this one is an absolute steal. Huge 2-inch display, Bluetooth calling, QR code sharing, metal built, IP67 rating, swim support. Don't even think twice. The Firebolt Hunter goes on sale today. There are multiple colors available. I share the links for all below in the description. This one is not to be missed. Must buy. By the way, this also makes for an excellent gift. So worth checking out. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.